What's up, what's up fellow TMGers? This is the Motivational Gamer KillX here bringing you guys another video of our What to Do With Your Crew series. Today we're going to be visiting Visions of Llama. We're going to be covering all of his units in his box and tell him what he can do or help him uh, become better and more efficient and to help you guys become better and more efficient if you guys have the same units as he does. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and dive on in. So just so you guys know, I just clicked monster with my pointer and the screen is reflecting, so that <laughs> that was a fail move <laughs> on my part. So you guys can like laugh about that, but that was I definitely just had a, a, a silly moment. You pretended to mess up. You, no, I didn't pretend that he messed up. All right, guys. So as we look at visions here, uh, this is going to be uh, a more more of a, a lower level account, so we can get into some more you know general statements of things that you can work on. And if you guys are lower level, this is going to benefit you guys a lot. Because it's going to help you redirect your focus as to where you should be, you know, putting your energy in order for you to become better. So he's been gathering Angel Mom, which is good. Uh, looks like he's starting to, you know, he's been doing his unknown scrolls. A uh, lot of food going, which is good because that always helps things. So now let's get to his core units here. So first unit, Dark Bear Man, unit I haven't covered yet. I have one of these personally six-starred. Uh, it was one of my first six-stars on my main account. Um, just because he buffs the party and uh, he increases the attack power and removes negative effects, uh, which can be useful, especially early on in Dragons, uh, if you want to use him. I don't know about his viability in Dragons B10 yet. I haven't really ruined him to play with him, but he's very, very good um, in Dragons early on. Uh, just because with that attack buff and those negative effects removal, especially against the boss, is very useful when you're running him with damage dealing monsters. Uh, so keep that in mind. How you're going to ruin him is you want him with as much HP as possible, period. Uh, you can kind of put some speed on him. He has a little bit of you know, a speed, so you can definitely do a speed build, like a, a speed HP HP on him, because you want to get him as much as many turns as possible. Uh, if you're going to use him, I'd recommend maxing his skills out. Uh, again, he's going to be an early to mid game dungeon monster. Can be an awesome tank, but his leadership skill, he only increases the HP or the, excuse me, the defense of dark monsters. So he's not going to be very viable here. He can be useful, but again, if you have better units, I'd worry about those first and then focus on him later. However, Hakan or the Dark Bear Man, he's, uh, he's, he, he can be pretty beast. Uh, you have Light Inferno. I'm not, we're not even going to get into that. We got Food Monsters. It looks like you got Fusion, a lot of Fusion, which is good. Fire Griffin. Okay, so I have to cover this unit. Fire Griffin is the fastest unit in the game, period. Um, he is the opposite. He is the nemesis of Bernard. Instead of increasing speed, he decreases the enemy's uh, speed and, or decreases the enemy's attack gauge, sorry, by 30%, and he decreases their attack speed for two turns. So keep that in mind. He is one of the most useful units in the game. I personally, I, I learned this from Barian. Um, but I, I use the Fire Griffin personally in my Dragons B10 team now, and uh, now you know I'm doing my 2-minute, two, 2-15-minute two two clear, um, but he is going to be one of those units that is absolutely going to help you a lot. You can build him early when you start pulling into Dragons because he will help you with every single Dragons floor except for B8, obviously because it's water, uh, but he is a very, very viable unit, so I'd go ahead and put a little sticky on him or just keep him in mind. Uh, you can build him with Swift Energy, Swift Focus, um, he does damage to the enemy based on his HP, uh, not his HP, but on their HP, so he's very viable. Uh, if you stack him with a little bit of damage, or like crit damage or crit rate or whatever, he can do more damage on his other attacks, which will make him even more useful on top of um, his attack that does damage based on the enemy's HP. Very, very, very useful in the dungeons, and can be very useful in the arena. So... That's just what I wanted to say about him. Water Serpent, I've covered before, Shylock, but he's not going to be a primary focus because I'm sure you're going to get better units along the way. Uh, we got more food, uh, fodder, fusion fighter. It's my first day, I can't talk. Um, water Magical Archer, Water Golem, all fusion fighter. Okay, Water Charging Shark can be, can be a very, very, very viable farmer unit for Feynman. Let me scroll up and see. Okay, so you got Lulu, Water Werewolf. Okay, so instead of Water Werewolf, I'd go ahead and um, switch to um, the Water Charging Shark and start building him as your primary uh, farmer. Simply because he has a heal to sustain. He deals crit, um, continuous damage on crits 
and he has a lot more attack potential, which means more speed for your clears as you move through Feynman. And I'm pretty sure that your focus is going to be Feynman, so start working on your Water Charging Shark as your farmer ASAP. Um, and that will help you a lot. Uh, let's see, we got more food. Win Yeti. Uh, Fire Mystic Witch is food. Teon is going to be food for a Water Garuda. Wind Harpy. I think, or is it Wind Harpoo that's food? Yeah, and Water Harpy is uh, fusion fodder. Let's see. Water Hellhound food. All of these guys are food. Okay, so again, uh, you have the Wind Sky Dancer. So this is what you are going to do. You have two of them. Oh my God, it, baby, he has two wind sky dancers. All right, so you're gonna put one of these in storage, okay? Do not feed this one to the other one. Put one of these in storage. Put it aside. Start focusing on building your your regular sky dancer now. The this one right here, uh, ASAP. So water charging shark wind sky dancer is gonna be uh, your thing. Uh, I see you have your uh, light trio. Uh, I'm pretty sure you joined us on our last event uh, where we farmed the units together. But you have your Light Trio. So Light Trio, Chasun, and uh, like Shannon or Bernard, and you, you're set. I mean, your, your Giants team is, is pretty set. Uh, Lulu can now be food since you have the Wind Sky Dancer. Uh, go ahead and make Lulu a 5-star and get her ready to be fed. Water Werewolf is going to be the same. Water Garuda, keep, because you're going to need until you get Veramos. Um, but that basic team, so... These are the units that you're going to focus on. Water, Water Garuda. Yeah, uh, you can see with me, baby. Uh, Water Garuda, Shannon, Wind Warbear you'll put aside because, again, he's going to be used endgame. Uh, the Light Trio, Darian, Bella, and Amon you're, is going to be your primary focus. And, of course, Chasun. Put your other Chasun in the warehouse immediately so you don't accidentally feed her and uh, build your Water Charging Shark as your farmer. Don't worry about getting a Fire Inugami. Uh, Seekus will carry your water charging shark into it, but build your water charging shark, awaken him, and start getting some solid attack runes on him, and he will be your primary farmer for Feynman. Uh, do that now, and envisions like you, you are already off on a great path because you have three of the best light units in the game. You have the one of the best, if not the best healer in the game, and then you have a very, very solid farmer and great buff units. So, Focus on those key units. Everything else you can get rid of. Make five star. Do whatever. Uh, but just uh, again, keep your fusion fodder, uh, of course, because you're gonna want to make Veramos. But other than that, dude, you are off to a awesome start. So hats off to you, bro. And you have two chasuns. Oh my god, that's absolutely insane, bro. I'm excited for you. Uh, so with that being said, guys, uh, this brings this video to a close. Again, if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to know uh, specifically, like how to build Chasun, I recommend Violent Energy or Violent Anything, or any of your units, just shoot me a comment in the, in the link below, guys, and uh, we'll help you get to the top. My goal is to help you guys as much as possible become the best summoners that you guys can be because I didn't have that uh, when I started, and I want to provide that for you guys. So thank you again, all of you guys that came to the event uh, last weekend. Uh, where we farmed all the light units and try to help as many players as possible and we'll see you guys next video where we go over dd thorne's account and we'll pay him a visit and tell him what he can do with his box so again thank you all for tuning in we'll see you next video there are now only two videos left mm -hmm. and then swimming mm -hmm.